This is Miami All Access. Yeah, talked about it during the week. They kind of play a different style. Um, been pretty good on defense, played a lot of low scoring games, obviously. You know, there's kind of a grouping of teams that seem like they play shootouts every week and a grouping of teams that seem to play lower scoring games. And they've certainly, the Akron's them, the OU's play. Uh, we knew they were good on defense um, after we watched them against Northern, after what we did against Northern. Um, they were solid. They gave us some different looks. Uh, manage them really good at times, manage them not so good at other times. Um, defense, obviously, a big step forward as far as aggressive nature, confident, making checks. Edging the ball. You watch the Northern game, the ball got outside of us. You know, the ball got outside of us on a punt return. Or in that, we had an edged our defense. That's prerequisite number one to play good defense. Much better tackling. Um, I'm not sure they have the skill guys at Northern, but we were still more aggressive regardless of who we were playing. And we thought it was going to be a low scoring grind out. The good, good news offensively was no turnovers. We outran them again. I don't know how much we ran for, but I felt like we could have ran for more. What do we run for? 167, yeah. If we manage the run game better, we'd probably been at 200. So we, we outrun them. We don't turn the ball over. Neither team could really get many chunk plays. We had some chances. We finally got one to Murph, which obviously was a huge play. Uh, but we didn't have the same, you know, we were in a similar game against EKU, and it was an absolute debacle on our sideline of anxiety and panic and kids that looked scared to death. And today we were calm. We were frustrated at times offensively, but we never, you know, our kids just kept kind of plugging away. And Andrew kind of had a day of a really good pitch with bad stuff. But he's a really good pitcher. So he just kind of muddled through seven innings and uh, found a way to keep the lead. And he'll, he'll tell you he didn't play his best football or his sharpest football. But he didn't turn the ball over. We didn't go backwards. We didn't have the sacks. We didn't have all the things that in our bad offensive games have really killed our team, in particular our defense. So we kept punting and putting him on long fields, and our defense held in there. So we've won one 41 You won one 10 to 3 That's Division One football. Learned that quickly when I got into Division One. that even when you're a favorite, the team isn't, isn't that much worse than you. And even when you're the underdog, you're not that much worse. And we've kind of seen this this year. And you just kind of kind of muddle through some of these games and win them. So a uh, much calmer group. Um, we're coming along slowly but surely. And obviously, we got a long way to go. Uh, Coach, first of all, I mean, thanks for giving me a win to cover on my birthday. So I'm sure that was Here your motivation. I've blown that earlier <laughs> on my boss. I'd rather have gave my boss a win than you, to be honest with you. But I screwed that up. Uh, but uh, you know, you had no losses in the uh, and the rushing game there, everyone was positive, and two straight 150-yard rushing uh, outings. Uh, that line looks like it's shoring up pretty well up there. Yeah, no, Coach Barnett and them are working very hard, and our tight ends are blocking better. Need better, continue better blocking on the perimeter. Cost us a little bit today, um, and then we just needed to manage the run game. We actually ran it pretty efficiently. We didn't manage. We too many times we checked out of runs that we didn't want to check out of was really an issue today, which was frustrating because we had good run looks and we're checking the passes and throwing in completions and punting the ball. But um, better, and they're getting better, and they're starting to get confidence. Uh, we need to get bigger, stronger, more athletic up there. When we do, I think we'll be able to run the ball on a lot of people. Coach, can you talk a little bit about uh, Heath Harding's emergence in late games? A big pick today. He's really coming to his own in the past couple of weeks. Struggled a little bit early on, but seems to be playing a better brand of football as of late. Yeah, it was tough for him. We moved him to safety. Um, Cincinnati week, he's never really played safety. He's not really built to play safety. It's kind of a microcosm of who we are. He shouldn't be playing safety in Division One at his size, but he's a tough kid. He's, he's a smart kid. He's competitive. More of an issue of trying to get our best players on the field. And you got, we got a bunch of pretty good corners and really no safeties in the program, which is going to be an issue here moving forward. We got to start getting some safeties that run and hit and make some plays. So he's done a great job. He's getting better every week. And he's undersized, but he's tougher than nails. How concerned were you, especially uh, there toward uh, toward the end, I guess the next to last uh, possession there, that the penalties might come back to uh, to bite you in the end? Uh, just a flurry of them all of a sudden at a time. I think you'd have liked to have moved the ball at least upfield a little bit. Yeah, I didn't see the first holding. Um, hopefully when I watch it, it's a blatant hold. It was inside. It's the fourth quarter. There hasn't been a holding penalty the whole game on either team, which I'm sure in the trenches there's been plenty of holding. So that was a little frustrating. Now, if I watch it, it might be blatant. The second one was a clear, blatant hold that is we had a good play on. And we actually, even with the even with the first holding, if we don't have the second holding, we're still in pretty good shape maybe to get a first down. Uh, so, yeah, no, I was concerned the whole game shit. I was, it wasn't then. I was, <laughs> it, was, it was seven to nothing, seven to three, ten to three. So, um, but I felt good about the defense. and. The nice thing, we got the ball back and we got the first down we needed at the end, so it worked out all right. Um, again, talking about managing the game and um, 
limiting turnovers. You guys have been doing a good job of that recently. I mean, how's that contributed especially? It's, it gives you a chance. We're not good enough. I mean, no one's good enough to have a bunch of turnovers and win. It, the turnover battle is critical. Every You can watch Friday, Saturday, Sunday football like I do, and teams that turn them over lose, and teams that and the shoulda, woulda, could is are all the teams that turn it over, and the, the teams that get lucky are the ones that don't turn it over, you know? So, um, and we're not near good enough that if we have turnovers, we have no chance to win a game. So it's it's critical for everyone, but really critical when you have a team that hasn't won a lot of games and at times doesn't doesn't have a lot of things that we're gonna, we're gonna dominate people in a lot of areas, so. Thank you, Homer. Uh, you mentioned you thought it was going to be a low scoring game. Uh, was there anything in particular uh, that you saw, and they and they did hold Miami down to 120 yards passing? Was there anything in particular that you anticipated uh, out of them that would keep it down? Yeah, just how they defended Northern. I saw Northern on offense, and I know we didn't play good, but they looked pretty good. They scored on every possession against us, you know. And they and then I watched them play Northern. Came home. That's the first game I watched, and they held Northern to two touchdowns. And Northern didn't really move the ball a lot on them. And I'm like, okay, they're pretty good up front. They're pretty good linebacker. They're pretty good on secondary. They're well coached. Um, so, and they've played a lot of low-scoring games. And in a game, the game went fast. Like, we had two possessions in the first quarter. I think they had one and a half. I think they were in the middle of their second possession. And the clock went to the second quarter. They, they were kind of offensively. They play their defense. They take a ton of time. They try to dink it and run it and shorten the game as part of what they do. So the game also, there was not a very high possession game. And we were kind of muddling through running the ball more than than usual. So um, it, it was a very, very quick game. What do we run? 61 plays, and they ran 67. That's that's not a ton of plays. And that's kind of how they play versus some of these teams that go fast and are trying to run 90 plays. That's not what they do. All right, guys, this is uh, Heath Hardy. Questions for Heath? Uh, what was your read on the uh, interception there? Uh, I'm supposed to play in the middle of the field, and uh, I kind of got nosy, actually. And I was just looking at the quarterback, and I saw him like look over to the weak side of the field on Q's guy. So I was cheating over there. Then I saw him run back to the other side. So I had to like, take my butt back to the middle, and then I saw the ball in the air. I just went and got it. Uh, obviously, the defense gave up uh, a ton of points, or Northern Illinois earned them, however you want to put it. But uh, this week on touchdowns, did, uh, this is kind of a, a good statement for the defense? Oh uh, Yeah, from, coming from the Northern game, we know we didn't put up our best performance at all. And our whole mindset this week of practice was just be aggressive and just, just to show everyone what our defense is really capable of because last week was just not a good showing on our part at all. So we had a lot to prove this week. So we played with a chip on our shoulder, and I think that showed today. What what is it like Heath playing next to a guy like Quinn Rollins, who's a such a great man on man kind of corner who can give you guys in the secondary such ability to do different things and show different looks and different packages? Well, it makes my job a lot easier. <laughs> like, it's kind of bad because usually, cause sometimes I see Q over there. I'm like, I don't gotta go help him much. I can, I can I can cheat over to the other side and rob the quarterback. I mean, so it's good to have a guy like that yeah. on your side of the field. Um, you know. Coming away from the coverage and sort of getting into the hitting aspect, three forced fumbles, um, you know, all over the field. You guys look like you're punishing them every play and making them earn every yard. Uh, does that sort of come with that chip on your shoulder you're talking about oh, after yeah. last week? Exactly. Our motto this week was just early and out, early and often. Defense, just get on them early and often. Like if they get if they get seven yards, that's fine. Line up the next snap and just be in their face again. 